Storm clouds gathered and swirled as the mooring line slipped away from the sleek gray hull of U-75. The loud crack of thunder shattered the morning silence that had overcome Salamis. The electric motors started up and U-75 slipped out of her berth to begin her third war patrol in the Mediterranean. The boat and crew had been in port for quite a while now. One reason is due to the inefficient working conditions in Greece for the dockyard workers. The second reason is U-75 saw an extensive overhaul while in port. The long stay was nice though and allowed the crew to get some much needed and earned R&R. Many crew members were even able to make trips by rail back to Germany to see family. Upon returning to Greece, many remarked on the large-scale air raids conducted by the RAF. At least here in Greece, we don't see much of that. Yet, anyways. The extensive refits to U-75 are as follows. Due to the high concentration of Allied aircraft in the theater, command saw it fit to equip our boat with a second 20mm anti-aircraft gun. To accommodate the new cannon, a new conning tower was fitted onto the boat and a platform was added. Of course, diving will still be our primary defense against the aircraft menace. However, having doubled the anti-aircraft capability is somewhat reassuring. Another piece of technology that was fitted onto the boat was a decoy launcher. This will allow U-75 to launch bold decoys, which reportedly will confuse allied sonar operators. The decoy itself is a metal canister filled with calcium hydride. Upon reacting with salt water, it will emit gas, creating a lot of noise. We will see how effective these things are, and I can't say I'm extremely confident in them just yet. Malta is vital for control of the Mediterranean. Both the Axis and the Allies are well aware of this fact. At present, the Allies are struggling to reinforce Malta due to the frequent Italian and German raids on convoys. U-75 has been ordered into the western Mediterranean to assist with this blockade. We are to intercept Allied shipping coming from the Atlantic and heading to Malta. The storm clouds dissipated as the boat pushed into the Aegean Sea. Now that we have arrived in much deeper waters, the drills shall commence. The officers and I want to make damn sure the crew is in shape and ready for any threat thrown our way. A friendly Albanian convoy was sighted on the horizon just to the north of our position. Once the watch properly identified the incoming vessels, we made contact and U-75 conducted multiple practice attacks on the freighters before resuming her original course of 180. Weather conditions are poor and the night is extremely dark. A large storm system has come in and there is no moonlight tonight. 
So far, the trek has been very quiet. Frequent dives have revealed nothing on hydrophone. At 0350, I was abruptly awoken by the shouts of the watch crew. Warship spotted, close. Hello everybody, Wolfpack here, and welcome back aboard. Shoot, we have been detected, possibly. That warship has its searchlight on. Let's start moving. He is firing at us, emergency dive. Crash dive. I was not expecting us to be spotted. That warship came out of nowhere. We had just sighted it, and it had opened fire on us. Very possible the warship has radar. Dive down, periscope depth, please. Up scope. Wow, okay. Just came out of nowhere. Actually, negative belay that. Down to 80. Keep diving down. She knows we're here. Check depth under keel, 389 meters. Down to 140 meters, please. Warship moving fast, 254 medium. I'm surprised she opened fire. The crew literally just spotted her. It is 0351 local time. Okay, warship moving fast. There's multiple, I'm guessing. Let's check. Okay, one at three zero zero. Two six four. Three warships. That one doesn't seem to be moving too quickly. This is the one that spotted us, I believe. Yep, three warships. Okay, let's change course. New heading, uh, 220. Once we are down to 80 meters, we will lower our speed just a little bit. Completely unexpected. We we're just cruising here, doing frequent hydrophone checks, and of course we did not pick these guys up. Let's keep turning. Okay, reduce speed. Rig for silent running. We are now being pinged. The enemy warship is using ASDIC. Keep dropping down. 160 meters, please. Let's... Launch a decoy. This is our first decoy. Alright, we're going to get ready to move quick. All ahead standard. Let's start moving. That ping is quite eerie. 283. Get under quick. All ahead flank! All ahead flank! She is beginning her attack run, going right over the top. We'll continue to drop down. Could have sworn she went over the top. Maybe not yet. That's her. Okay, let's change course. Turn away. Let's head north now. No more Asdic. I hear her, though. What a start to the patrol. Being attacked out of nowhere. Again, I'm still kind of shocked she sighted us. Leads me to believe we were detected by radar, which checks out. A lot of allied warships are equipped with radar at this point in time. It's from rolling out slowly but surely. I figured we would have 
a little bit of time to take a look at the ship on the surface, though. Okay. No depth charges dropped. Okay, reduce speed. Go to 180 meters. I'll be in the red, but that's okay. That's fine by me. We are just going to turn away and get the heck out of here. I really don't care to linger. We're moving away from the position where we dropped our decoy as well. So hopefully that'll allow us to slowly lurk away and the decoy will distract them. The bold decoys are relatively new technology. So the chances of it confusing the allied sonar operators is quite high. We were rattled by that a little bit. Going to get a damage control team on station for obvious reasons. I did give Anton here a repair qualification, which is quite nice. Heard a round go out and they must be shooting star shells up there. Let's reduce RPM to 50. It seems the decoy may be throwing them off. I just heard one of these warships off behind us drop some depth charges. That may have been her. There's four of them. Yep, there we go. Depth charges exploding up to 110. Those are quite far out, very distant. That's gotta be the decoy. I do hear, well, something's chugging above us, but active sonar has stopped. It is possible we are below the thermal layer, which is helping us escape here. Slow chugging overhead. I'm not too worried about it right now, and neither is he, frankly. Let's take a listen. Yeah, this one's just cruising. 029. This is the only warship out in front of us currently. The rest are searching behind as we proceed north. Let's see, is this one going to turn starboard? I don't think she's beginning an attack run, it's just steady. It looks like she's coming around in front of us. She's turning to port. Interesting. Well, we'll keep our ears... Oh my gosh. Okay. That scared me. Which one is that? Probably one of these on the back. This one just barely moving. I'm mostly concerned about this one. Looks like she's looping back around. Very concerning behavior, I must say. Well, we will continue to evade. It seems all four of these ships are in fact destroyers. They are all searching for us just stumbled across a uh, hunter-killer group. I'm not going to go much deeper at this point. Even Okay, I hear her coming in. Coming in on our right side here. I guarantee you it's this one off to like 040. No. Let's scan. Oh boy.
No idea where she went. Off behind us. I know I just said we're not going to go deeper, but let's go down to 200. The pinging has slowed down significantly, and they're just searching the area. I don't think they had a good beat on us. We are still going to drop down to 200 and continue to lurk, though. No need to panic just yet. We may have a problem here. Warships passing overhead. Okay, she's dropping all ahead flank. Let's start moving. Guessing that's her? Yep, that's her. New heading. 330. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, come left. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Three zero zero. Decoy. I don't want to rely too heavily on them. We seem to be doing a okay thus far. I think a good chunk of that is due to the weather conditions up top. Those were shallow. Yeah, shallow. Off to port. Rudder amidships here. Good. Alright, keep sprinting while those depth charges explode. Continue our speed of 8 knots. In 15 seconds, we will reduce down to 50 RPM once again. Then maybe change course to 280. How about that? Okay, reduce speed. 50 RPM, please. New heading 280. There we go, that was a relatively small pattern, all things considered. Things are good. We're at 203 meters. Battery power's fine. Oxygen's fine. We're all good. We haven't been underwater for that long. It's only 416, so this depth charge attack has lasted, what, 30 minutes so far? Um, a little less than that. I think we're going to get out of here. This is the only one that's really spitting in the right area. The other three are way down here to the southeast, and I'm not sure if they're really dropping depth charges down there. I don't think they are. They're just kind of searching. I haven't heard very many really distant explosions yet. It looks like these two may be even breaking contact. We'll see, though. We'll see how long this lasts for... Thankfully, we're in very deep water. The weather conditions are favorable for evasion. And uh, we have these new decoys, which seem to be working out just fine for us. It is a new technology, as uh, stated previously, so I'm not sure how effective they are. I'm sure it's probably confusing the hell out of the sonar operators up there, I would hope. Let's go to the hydrophone. Yeah, these are the three back there. This is number four. This is the one that I think is really pinging us. We're gonna track her and see if she rolls her ash cans on top of the decoy. That's my... That's what I'm curious about. We dropped it 
Like maybe around here. I'd say. Probably a little bit further away. Okay. There's our friend. That doesn't sound like an attack run to me. Going behind us? No, that's an attack run. Depth charges. She's rolling. I think she is rolling on the decoy. Behind us. Yeah, let's continue our speed. 50 RPM. Yeah, that is, that is far. We're just going to keep crawling away. I'm pretty confident in that. And she is laying a large pattern, too. I bet they're very excited. Sonar operator thinks they're about to sink us. Not yet. Boat's holding up well, considering how deep we are. Those charges have a long, long drop time, though. Should be exploding any second now. Yeah. They're going for the decoy. That's just one, though. There we go. There we go. That's reassuring. We're going to keep lurking away, then. This was a good test of the bull decoys. Here we go again. She's coming back over the top. Only one escort's really pursuing us at this point. Oh my. Okay, all ahead flank. You heading 040, please. Moderately concerned about that one. Sounded a little close. She rolled right on top of us, which I am not a fan of. More charges being dropped in the water. How long has this been going on for now? 431. Oof. Okay. Keep turning. Steadying up on 040 now. Perfect. Yeah, it looks like the other three have continued pushing on to the east. Shallow. Reduce speed once again. There we go. Let's see how many more depth charges she even has at this point. She's been pursuing us for a while. I'm going to hold off on dropping more decoys. For one, I want to save them for when we really need them. So far, we've been able to evade this warship just fine. All things considered, we've launched two. We'll hold on to the rest for later in the patrol. Don't want to blow all of our decoys in the uh, first few days of our third patrol here.
After nearly two hours of ear-piercing pinging and bone-rattling bombardment, U-75 finally gave the Tommy warships the slip. The order was given to resume the original heading of 270 and come up to a more comfortable depth of 100 meters. The boat would stay submerged for a few more hours to solidify our escape. This ordeal was one hell of a way to start off the patrol. I guess the storm clouds over Salamis were indeed a bad omen. A radio report has come in. Small convoy heading east-northeast, just 50 kilometers away from the boat's current position. Weather conditions are now serviceable. We will pursue. We have aircraft spotted directly behind us, two of them. Closing in on us, crash dive yeah, quickly. Oh boy. Right behind us as we continue to track this small convoy. This is a good opportunity for us to conduct a hydrophone check. Thankfully we spotted those aircraft quite far out. And they're still heading away. Hopefully they have not detected us or spotted us. We'll go passing 10 meters. All right, keep dropping down, down to 40 meters. That should do it. Reduce speed, and we will listen on the hydrophone. See if we can actually hear this enemy convoy here. We got this report quite a while ago. Hopefully we'll be able to catch up. The problem is operating on the surface this close to Malta is uh, very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. Okay, let's go to the hydrophone and take a listen here. Got him. Right in front of us. Perfect. We will stay submerged for 20 minutes. Then we'll surface and continue the chase. Lage 3, 4, 8. Große Entfernung. The chase continued as U-75's diesels hammered away, rattling the entire boat. The sun crested over the horizon, and I heard the crew exclaim, Rauchsäulen am Horizont, Herr Kaloin! Smoke on the horizon. The crew rushed to their battle stations. We got something out here, folks. Lots of ships on the horizon. This was a larger convoy than I expected. Let's see what we got. That looks like a freighter troop transport. Interesting. That's like an auxiliary cruiser. Another very large ship. That's a light cruiser. Oh my goodness. Warship. Destroyer of some sort. Okay. We are pretty much paralleling their course. Their speed is 15 knots, give or take. We are going to send this to FDU, and hopefully the Luftwaffe can come and give us a hand here. Let's go send report, contact report. Report sent, contact report. Okay, U-75 position, grid CN-34, convoy side at speed 15 knots, estimated course three four seven degrees not entirely accurate we'll probably send another one here very shortly what's our course zero seven six they're they're heading about generally the same here along with us so zero seven six pretty much right out there I am curious if we will get some air support coming in. Let's change course. You heading? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see them all. My gosh. Okay, the problem is it is broad daylight. The seas are silky smooth. I am actually going to get... Man the flat guns, please. Get on those flat guns. 
Okay, why are you facing it that way, sir? I just want the flag guns to be ready. Just in case enemy aircraft come our way. We are really trying to work our way around this task force now. I'm going to break visual contact more or less. I just want to avoid being spotted. That's that's really the big thing. New heading 130. We're going to try to get around them as quickly as possible while I'm out here. Depth under keel, please. 401 meters. Perfect. I just do not want to be spotted. Let's turn away. If we are spotted, we are screwed. The cruiser is a very tempting target along with that troop transport. Maybe I... Hmm. Honestly, I'd like to engage all three and just completely annihilate this task force, except for the... It looks like there's two destroyers. One in the lead there. A frigate of some sort. Gosh, look how big that ship is. And then one in the rear. That was a black swan for sure. Oh boy. There may be something on the other side of this uh, auxiliary cruiser. Time will tell. Okay, we have a handful of issues. First issue is the task force has turned east and presents a new issue. There's also an aircraft spotted, crash dive. Crash dive now. As we can see, the task force has turned east. It does look like they are trying to head the port. I'm wondering if my best bet is to head north and swing around and try to get them, try to intercept them from the north. Just catching them is going to be hard. They are only going medium speed, though. You heading 040, please. Hopefully we get under quickly before these aircraft cause much of an issue. Looks like we are doing just that. Oh, what a wrench in our plans. That makes sense they're turning. I would love... I would love <laughs> some aircraft, some friendly aircraft to come in and attack these guys. I don't know if that's going to happen, though. All right, dropping down. We're going to stay submerged for a little bit before surfacing and continuing the chase. I think that's our best bet. I would like to stick to relatively deeper water for the attack. So looping around from the north seems to be the best way to maneuver around this situation. The sounds of explosions shatter the silence as U-75 crawled towards our foes. The hydrophone operator informed us of near constant gunfire and shell casings hitting the water at a rapid pace. The Luftwaffe is attacking. The bombs and gunfire continued. There was an earth-shattering explosion heard. We assumed it was one of the merchant ships, and our hydrophone operator quickly informed us that he heard bulkheads collapsing. Those flyboys managed to get one. Unfortunately, there is not much U-75 can do at the moment besides watch and listen. By 0900, the first air raid on the convoy had concluded. We will continue to stalk the enemy.
At 0930, U-75 hit the surface and continued the chase. Upon surfacing, all that could be spotted was the billowing smoke from one of the struck vessels. The boat charged ahead at 17 knots. Aircraft spotted. Closing in fast. Crash dive. Not entirely surprising at all. We were due. Dive, 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 dive. Derzeitige Tiefe 3-0. Derzeitige Tiefe Kontakt Kriegsschiff entfernt sich auf 1 Große Entfernung. Derzeitige Tiefe. Okay, bombs were dropped on U-75, but we seem to be okay. Moving fast, moving away. Reduce speed. Battery power is not looking fantastic. We're at about 80%. Because once we hit the surface, I have been going standard propulsion instead of recharging our batteries because we need to get in front of this task force. We are going to stay submerged for another 15 minutes. We are falling behind, unfortunately, because we've had to be submerged for so long, but it is what it is. We are going to continue at standard speed, seven knots. Glad we evaded that aircraft. We'll stay submerged for a little bit here. Another warship has been detected, and unfortunately, we cannot surface just yet. She is right here. Oh, man. They are so close. I don't know if we're going to be able to get it. They've turned again. Boy, this is going to be hard. This is just an escort protecting the port, I think. Let's go to periscope depth, please. She was sailing up north, and we lost contact, and I was about to surface and run, but at this point... I don't know if that is possible. Man, oh man. We may not be catching them, which is a shame. At least we were able to report them in and have the Luftwaffe come and do some damage. Gosh, what a shame. Also, with how shallow this water is, it's probably a pretty stupid idea, huh? To proceed much farther. Let's come up and take a look at the situation, though. Up scope. Let's take a look. See how close that warship is. Oh yeah, we can we cannot surface. She is way too close to surface. Do we even have visual on the rest of our friends? I highly doubt it at this point. Okay. Well, we will continue moving slow here. We'll see if this destroyer continues on. We'll try to chase a little bit more. But uh, hope is starting to fade, and this may be a task force that gets away. Well, folks, I don't think we are going to be able to catch them. At this point, the enemy task force is around 15 kilometers away from the port and in very shallow waters. It's really just not worth the risk. We tried our best. We tracked them for quite a while. But in these dangerous waters, it's quite difficult, and I really don't want to risk the boat that much. Um, also, it's just going to be impossible to get there fast enough, so... We are going to continue on our original course. I may patrol around Malta just a little bit more, as this was quite exciting. Uh, we will see, though. Anyway, folks, I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and comment, as it really does help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all 
on the next one.